When a person has a really severe hiatal hernia, um, you actually really need to have somebody else work on it with massage because it's very difficult to get it down yourself. However, I do know people who have been able to get them down using the self-help techniques I'm about to demonstrate. However, even if you are working on it for somebody, they usually need to do these techniques to help learn to get it. To, to stay down because what happens is, is you lose muscle tone up in here and it tends to slide back up and you have to keep it down consistently long enough for the tissue to tone up in here and for it to start to heal so that basically the stomach doesn't keep sliding back up into the diaphragm. Now I'm going to demonstrate these two um, self-help techniques. The first one actually works best if you're um, lean against a wall. And I'm not leaning against a wall, but I'm going to pretend there's a wall behind me. And um, you bring your hands up under your rib cage till you're right there almost touching, like so. You take a deep breath so you can get a hold of your stomach like that, leaning backwards just a little bit. And then you exhale and go forward while you push down like that. Let's demonstrate that again. Um, you bring your hands up here like this, lean back, take a deep breath, lean forward as you push down. That helps um, to release that. The other technique um, is um, one that's really, really effective. Um, you wake up in the morning, you take a couple of shots of lobelia. Lobelia really relaxes the solar plexus and is very helpful for helping to relax the tension that's in here and bring down the hiatal hernia. After you're taking a shot of lobelia, you need to drink at least a quart of room temperature water. So you're basically um, filling your stomach with water so it forms kind of a weight in the bottom of your stomach. Then what you do is you you stand on your tippy toes and drop suddenly to your heels or you can even jump down a flight of stairs so that it's the same effect that you get when you um, go down an elevator real fast. You get that oh, so that the weight of the water in your stomach helps pull the stomach out of the diaphragm. You can enhance that using the same technique here by going and blowing out and blowing out. In addition, as I mentioned, people who have this problem tend to be holding on to a lot of frustration, anger, and stress here because they don't know how to, to let it out. And so it also really helps, again, if, if you practice uh, and letting only, I do it a lot more, more than that, like uh, and that really helps to relax the diaphragm and get rid of some of the, the tension that's there and helps, again, to bring the stomach down. As I uh, mentioned on the, uh, the DVD um, fibromyalgia, this um, problem is almost universal in people who suffer from chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, autoimmune disorders, um, cancer, or any other chronic and degenerative disease. I would say that learning how to deal with this problem, helping people release the tension from the solar plexus and open up the diaphragm, helping open up the lungs, improve the heart, and uh, improve the digestion is one of the single most important things I've ever learned to do to help people who are chronically ill get well. Um, I have seen people having problems like heart palpitations, asthma, uh, uh, respiratory problems, digestive problems, uh, immune problems, and so forth, all improve once they got to the point where um, this was down. I want to also indicate that the way you know it's down is when a person can breathe deeply from their diaphragm like this. In my experience, about 70% of the adults I know cannot breathe deeply from their diaphragm. And, if you, and learning to be able to practice deep breathing from your diaphragm is one of the best things you'll do to protect your health and also to relieve chronic pain. I hope you find this information useful. And, and thank you for um, allowing me to demonstrate this.